Hey y'all. Jamie Dean again. Here at Mama's Kitchen. I'm cooking out of Jamie Dean's Good Food. You know I love this book. You know I love that youngin right there. And everybody that worked on this book, I love. The person that helped me with the food, the person that shot the pictures, the girl that, the woman, not a girl, the woman that I wrote it with. Her husband did illustrations in it. This is a great book. It's been out a long time. If you can find it, I recommend you pick a copy up. It's fresh family recipes. It's not diet. It's not fattening. It's just real food, real good food for real families. It's a great book. Today I'm cooking something out of it that you don't really make a lot, or maybe you do. Salad dressing. My mom has made salad dressing my whole life, and she and my daddy loved, but my daddy did not love it, but my mama did, so she made it. She made blue cheese, and then she made Thousand Island for my daddy. I grew up eating Thousand Island, but I never did like blue cheese. And so kind of a cousin of Thousand Island is French dressing that I really love. And I think a lot of picky eaters like French dressing too. So we're gonna do a homemade French dressing. I've got several dressing recipes in this book and you'll find that they are so easy to make. All you need is a, like a, a jar with a lid on it and that's it. We're gonna put all the ingredients in here, shake it up, goes in the fridge, it stays good for four or five days and then you won't have a million bottles of who knows what in your refrigerator. So if you love salad like I do, try a fresh dressing. It's got all the ingredients that you can pronounce, except for what's just cheer sauce. We got Worcestershire sauce in there. And so you know it's fresh, you know it's good for your family and you'll really enjoy it. So I have been asked by the powers that be to list the ingredients and the measurements for y'all. So I will do that. And this is a laundry list, so I'm gonna read it, okay? We've got, uh, might have to have Teresa hold this for me. We have a quarter of a cup of canola oil, a quarter cup of ketchup, three tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of white wine vinegar, one tablespoon of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of water, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and then kosher salt and pepper to taste, which you know we always have laying around. So that's it. We'll start with the oil. And we'll add our ketchup. Our white wine vinegar. Our Worcestershire sauce. Dijon mustard. Dijon is an ingredient in a lot of delicious salad dressing recipes. Our paprika. We've got our mayonnaise. White wine vinegar. And water and our sugar. I love making them in the jars because it's so much easier than blending it. And I got this, found this jar at mama's house, but if you've got like a normal size jar, like a little ball jar or something at your house, it's perfect to make it in and store it in. I could have five times, 10 times this recipe for this big jug. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I forgot my peaches. We're gonna need a little salt. We're gonna need a little black pepper in there. Give it one more shake. I just wanted you to shake again. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of shaking. How pretty that is. Yum. Who doesn't love French dressing? Got a little piece of bread here left over. I figured this would be a good way to test it. Mm. Just like it was when I was a kid. Might have taken too big of a bite. Don't pause it. Fast forward. Mm. That's good food. This is French dressing. I'm Jamie Ding. This is my mama's house. Appreciate y'all tuning in. We'll see you next time around the kitchen. 
Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.